There's something wrong with the universe. Measurably wrong. Something is missing. Or is it? Cosmologists were in the dark. <laughs> Are you afraid of the dark? I'm Dr. Elizabeth Hughes. In 1933, an astronomer named Fritz Zwicky discovered something odd while observing the Coma Galaxy Cluster. Their movement was unexpectedly fast. So fast, in fact, that they should have flown apart. He calculated the gravitational mass of the galaxies within the cluster and found not nearly enough gravity to hold the cluster together. His conclusion? There must be something binding them together. Something we couldn't see. And that something must weigh 50 times as much as the stars themselves. In a stroke of genius, he called it dark matter. In the 1970s, Vera Rubin confirmed the existence of dark matter when she noticed another anomaly in galaxies. The stars at the center were moving at the same speed as the ones at the edges. Unlike a planetary system, where the close planets orbit very fast and the further planets orbit slowly. Once more, the only explanation is that the galaxy had more mass than could be seen. Her calculations revealed that 90 to 95% of a galaxy is invisible matter. In other words, dark matter. Dark matter earns its name because it's antisocial and world-class at playing hide and seek. It doesn't interact with normal matter. It doesn't collide or absorb energy from it. It's undetectable on any of our instruments. Light passes through it, so it can't be seen. Its only footprint is how its gravity affects surrounding matter. After all is said and done, the composition of the universe comes down to this. Dark energy, 68%. Dark matter, 27%. Normal matter, that includes you and me and everything we've ever seen or known, 5%. Well, at least we're up there on the list. Today, the search for elusive dark matter has scientists looking for it in the form of a particle called WIMP. Weakly interacting massive particles. Who are you calling a WIMP? So far, it's pretty slow going. You could see me if I wanted you to. Shh. I'm not the one who named you. Well, as it turns out, we actually have a lot to thank dark matter for. If it wasn't there at the Big Bang, causing the original galaxies and stars to form, no us. Some call it the skeleton of the universe. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna change your name. You are now pumps. Pesty, overreacting, malicious particle. Yeah, yeah, we know dark, we know what dark matter is. Yeah. We've been to school. Mm -hmm. We went to school and we learned about it and we talked about it and we like science and stuff too. Yes, so we do. We love science. We're super in interested in that. So yeah, we know what it is. Are you talking about it? Are you doing? Are you reading a book about it or doing a project about it? I wonder. Oh, infinitesimal. Yeah, we watched that. Yeah. We, love, we love that show. Oh my gosh. Well, we can't wait to see the episode about dark matter. Yeah. Say hi to Dr. Elizabeth Hughes for it. Yeah, hi. I adore her. She's my idol. She's so funny. <laughs> yeah, she's great. Dark matter? Um, now, you're not talking about governmental dark matter, right? The secret organizations uh, that exist, um, you know, pulling the strings of politicians, right? That That's not the dark matter you're talking about, right? No. Well, yeah, I mean, everybody knows what dark matter is. I mean, it's just, it's, you learn that, I think, in kindergarten now. So what is it? Oh, I mean, I didn't know how to explain it, but uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things that's so easy to explain, it's hard to explain, you know what I mean? Like, where do I live? Uh, by the oak tree. Like, you're so familiar with it, you don't need to give directions. So, uh, what was the question? 
You're not talking about the, the, the dark matter that's the uh, uh, that's in the sandwich cookies, you no. know, that you have that, that, that creamy, you know, dark center? No. No, that's not it. Well, um, it's where you take, you know, the bosons and the hydrum kaleidoscopes and, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, the phone's ringing. I'll be right with you, okay? You can't see it and it doesn't interact with anything and it's the matter that gives a lot of mass to the universe because otherwise the universe would never have um, you know, coagulated. It's my favorite because it's like, it's there, but we just can't see it. Yeah, it's kind of like the force from Star Wars. Totally. It surrounds us and penetrates us and, and nobody knows it's there. Um, isn't that some type of subatomic particle that weighs something but we don't know what it weighs or how it weighs or what it looks like. I know that they are extremely tiny, you cannot see them. It's massive, much more than what we can actually see in, in ourselves. It's only about 5%, I think, if I remember correctly. But I, I always had a question about it because they're everywhere. They're massive and they go through everything. So. Why I, what I can't understand is why it doesn't leave a hole when it goes through people. Dark matter, maybe that's why I weigh so much. My other half always says I have my own gravitational force. Um, the only other dark matter I can think of is the stuff that uh, like is almost like, geez, it's almost like 70% of the universe is like dark matter. Um, I don't know how to describe it, it's just kind of like, you can't see it. It's it's uh, it's it's just out there. You can't touch it, see it, smell it. You know, it's um, you know, it's a lot like love. It kind of sounds like like dark matter is just kind of really heavy. It's a heavy subject. <laughs> Hi, infinitesimal moment. Hi. Hi, Dr. Hughes. We love you. Thank you for joining us. Hey, I said 27%. That's better. See you next time.